Okay, here are the six constructions for your quiz on Monday. Our first construction is we're going to make a copy of segment AB, which means we're going to make a new uh, segment that's congruent to the original. This one is real simple. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an endpoint here for my new segment, one endpoint. We'll call it A prime, although you can call it anything you want. And I'm going to take my compass, and we're going to refer to this end as the point end of our compass, and this end with the pen on it, the pen end. I'm going to put the point end on A and stretch the uh, the point end on on A and stretch the pen end until it's right on B. All I have to do then is put the uh, point on A and then draw an arc out here. Every point on that arc is the same distance from A prime as A is from B. So if I just take a straight edge now and I connect A prime to that red arc, anywhere on the arc works, call that, that point where they intersect, call that B prime. Now A prime, B prime is the same length as AB. We've successfully copied a segment. The next thing we're going to do to this segment is we're going to cut it in half. We're going to bisect it. In fact, we'll be forming the perpendicular bisector of it. Okay, I'm going to take my compass, put the point in on A, stretch the pen in so it goes a little more than halfway, maybe three-fourths the way from A to B. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to put now the point on A, draw an arc up above AB. I'm going to draw with that same setting an arc below AB. Okay? You're trying to keep the uh, compass at the same setting at all times. Don't let it slip. Now I'm going to put the compass on B and draw an arc above and draw an arc below. I want the above and below arcs to intersect. Now I take my straight edge and I connect the, these two crossing points together like so. And this new segment hits AB right at its midpoint, so it bisects it. And that's why I was hoping to get out of this construction. It also forms a right angle there, so my new guy is perpendicular to AB as well. So that is the way to bisect a segment. Okay, the next two constructions deal with angles. So I need to draw an angle here, and we're going to copy the angle, and then we're going to bisect the angle. So my two things I'm doing here, I will copy angle C, and then I will bisect angle C. Okay, so here's an angle C for us to work with. I called it ABC on the original um, sheet, but the other points just get in the way, so I'm just going to call it angle C next time. All right. To make a copy of it means to make a new angle that's congruent to the original. So I'll start off by drawing one side of my new angle. There we go. Call, call that point C prime. Again, you can call it anything you want. What I'm going to do then, I'll just I make sure my compass is not going to slip. I'm going to put the pointy end on C, and I'm going to draw an arc that goes all the way across to angle C. I'll put the pointy end on C prime and do exactly the same thing. Now I'm going to take the compass, and I'm going to put the pointy end right here. I'll fill in dots. I'm going to put the pointy end on that dot, and I'm going to measure with the pen end how far it is to the other dot. Okay. So measuring that like so, there we go. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put the pointy end right here. And I'm going to draw an arc that crosses the existing arc. And what I know is that this new point right here will be just exactly as far, those two points will be just exactly as far apart as those two points. That's going to guarantee that my new angle is congruent to the original. So now I just go like that. And my new angle, C prime, is congruent to the original angle, C. So I'm in great shape. Uh, on my next construction, 
I can actually do this guy with, with one compass setting for the whole thing. That's nice. And it's going to be to bisect angle C. Cut it into two equal angles. Well, the first step of it is really already done, but I'll just repeat what the first step is. Pretend this little arc is not here. Put the pointy end on C, and then draw an arc that cuts both sides of angle C. So that is the first step of this second guy as well. I'm drawing an arc that cuts both sides of angle C. From the two points where the angle C got cut by the arc, from each of those, I'm going to draw an arc out in the middle of angle C. So I put the pointy end up here, and I drew an arc in the middle. Now I'm going to put the pointy end here and draw an arc out in the middle. Where those two arcs cross, that point will be connected to C. And this new ray that I'm drawing is bisecting angle C. Which means it's cut, I missed that little corner, means if I hadn't missed the corner, it would have cut angle C into two angles that are congruent to each other. Okay, our last two constructions deal with a line and a point that's not on that line. So I'll get rid of these drawings. And I will draw a line and put a point up here that's not on it. On your paper, the line was called L and the point was called P. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to construct a parallel to L through P. Parallel. Is that on the screen? Yeah. Parallel to L through the point P. Okay. And all this is, this is the angle construction, the angle, the copying an angle construction again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an angle. I'm going to make an angle by choosing a point on L. It doesn't matter exactly where I choose it. I think last time I chose it at the very end, but you don't have to. And now I'm going to draw this angle. Okay. My, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to construct another angle up here at P that's congruent to the new angle I just made. If you remember how that goes, I'm going to put the pointing end here at this point. I'll just put, get, put a letter on it. Call it D just so I got the letter. I'm going to put the pointing end on D, and I'm going to draw an arc that cuts both sides of this angle I've just created. Okay, I'm going to go up to P and I'm going to draw a similar arc that's at that same compass setting. Okay, now what I'm going to do, like the copy angle procedure, is I'm going to see how far it is from here to here going across the angle. Okay, so I'll put the pointy end on one end and stretch the pen end to the other so I'm measuring the distance across. Okay. What I want is that distance across to be the same up here. So I'll put the pointy end on the uh, right up here on this point, whatever you want to call it, C or whatever, and I'll just draw an arc that crosses my other one. Now I'll take the uh, straight edge and I'll connect those two points. And what I would know there, in this particular case, is line L is parallel to line M. It's parallel because since those two angles were uh, constructed congruent, they are corresponding angles, which is a reason for making two lines parallel when crossed by a transversal. Okay, our last construction for the quiz then starts off with more or less the same thing. We have a line. On your handout, it was called, I guess it was called L again, it wasn't very creative, and a point not on it, and it was called S. And our goal this time is to create a new line that's perpendicular through L that goes through S. So we'll suppose that we're going to make R perpendicular to L. Uh, Maybe get in my way there, I'm going to erase it for the minute, I'll put it up here. R 
perpendicular to L and going through S. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This one's real easy. Take your compass, put the pointy end on S, and stretch it so it goes farther than the line. So that when I draw an arc across it up here, and it cuts that line in two places, making a little smiley face, that I can go to this point, and I can draw an arc below line L. Go to this point with the same compass setting that I've just used there, and draw an arc below. Let me see if I can get that in a way I can hold on to it there. Okay, this new point then gets connected to S and we are guaranteed that it is perpendicular to L. So practice those constructions over the weekend. See you Monday.